Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. I certainly hope you have a refreshing beverage with you today, because we are going to continue my APA Baseball Vintage Season. Now, my friends, I get a lot of questions when I walk down the street. In fact, walking down the street seems to be a lot of what I'm doing these days, and... One of those questions is, of course, Kurt, how do you keep your hair so shiny and manageable? An excellent question, if I do say so myself. And the second question is, Kurt, what is the APA Vintage Season? Well, I'm going to tell you. The APA Vintage Season is my personal obsession with purchasing and then using, not putting in a box somewhere, the original cards from the original seasons produced by Richard Seitz. I love them. Somebody wrote on them, I don't care. They're a little dinged, I don't care about that either. I just have a great time with these sets. Today we're up to game number five in the season for these two teams. It's the 1956 New York Yankees, who of course won that World Series over the Brooklyn Dodgers. And they are in Boston at Fenway Park playing the 1967 Boston Red Sox. Coming into this game, the 1967 uh, Red Sox have a record of 2-2. Two and two. And the 1956 New York Yankees are tied for first place in the American League with a perfect record of 4-0. and all. I gotta say a couple things here. The Red Sox underachieving a little bit, and the 56 Yankees are a very interesting APA team uh, because they can definitely hit, and of course this was Mickey Mantle's favorite year, uh, probably his best year, but it's not a balanced lineup, and the pitching staff, by great team standards, is not great. Ugh. But they're beating people's brains in to this point, so we're going to see if that continues today at Fenway Park. In the description for this video is a link to channel membership. With channel membership, you get a lot more of the nonsense that I create on my channel. You also get... Discounts on the secondary store and a free gift from me every month. It is a tremendous value. I work very hard on it. Take a look. The link is in the description for this video. All right. So it's the Yankees at the Red Sox. Two World Series teams going today. The pitching matchup, their aces are going. It's Whitey Ford for the Yankees against Jim Lonborg for the Red Sox. We had a good one in store. Buckle up. Let's get to today's starting lineups. For the visiting Yankees, Hank Bauer leads off in right field. Gil McDougal bats second at short. Mickey Mantle bats third in center field. Yogi Berra bats fourth. He'll catch. Moose Scourin bats fifth. He's at first base. Enos Country Slaughter gets his first start of the season. He's in left. Billy Martin bats seventh, he's at second base, and Andy Carey bats eighth, he'll play third. On the mound, it's Whitey Ford. In 1956, he was an A-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. All right, for the homestanding Boston Red Sox, Joe Foy leads off at third. Mike Andrews bats second at second. Carl Yastrzemski bats third and left. Tony Canigliaro bats fourth and right. George Scott, the Boomer, bats fifth at first base. Reggie Smith, bats sixth. He's in center. Rico Petroselli, bats seventh. He's at short. And Russ Gibson, bats eighth. In his first start of the season, he will catch. Jim Lonborg's on the mound. He's a grade B pitcher with XZ modifiers. If you're wondering about defense, and quite frankly, why wouldn't you be? The Yankees of 1956, this lineup has 39 fielding points, and so do the Red Sox of 1967, so they are both fielding two. 
Hank Bauer steps in the box to lead it off against Jim Lonborg. And we're underway with a drive to left. Yaz doesn't even move. And it's gone over the monster. And it's one nothing Yankees. Well, that gets the blood moving a little bit. Woo-wee. Here's Gil McDougal. And McDougal swings and hits one to right field. Drops in front of Tony C. Another hit for the Yankees. McDougal holds on at first base, and that's going to bring up Mickey. The stretch by Lonborg and the delivery to Mantle, and hey, struck him out on a bender, and there's one down in the top of the first. Yogi Bear up there now. Lonborg, the stretch, and the pitch to the Yogi is swung on and hit to right. Canigliero over by the foul line is going to make the catch for out number two. Retreating to first is McDougal. That'll bring up Moose Scourin. The pitch to him is ball two. Next delivery is swung on by Scourin and popped up. Foul territory. Russ Gibson throws away the mask and makes the catch for out number three. And in the first, Hank Bauer comes through with a leadoff bomb for the Bombers. We go to the bottom of one, and it's the Yankees one, and the Red Sox coming to bat. Joe Foy, Mike Andrews, and Carl Yastrzemski coming up in the Red Sox first. Here's the pitch to Foy, and that one is bounced to Scourin at first. He's going to take it to the bag, unassisted, proud number one. Mike Andrews up there now. For the wind-up and the delivery is swung on by Andrews and hit to McDougal that's short. And McDougal that's off the heel of his glove. Andrews is going to reach on an E6. That gives the Red Sox a base runner for Carl Yastrzemski. Ford the stretch. The delivery to Yaz is chopped on the infield. It's off Whitey's glove. Everybody's going to be safe. Andrews gets to second. Yastrzemski's safe at first, and that'll bring up Canigliero with one out and two on, and the Red Sox with a chance to at least tie this game here. Ford the stretch, and the pitch to Tony C is to left and deep. Enos Country Slaughter back to the warning track, to the wall, and it's gone. A three-run bomb for Tony C. And the Red Sox take the lead away from the Yankees at 3-1. to one. We're off to a big start in this one. Wowzers. All right, the boomer comes to the plate. The pitch to him is a fly ball to the left. Can of corn this time for Slaughter. He's got it for out number two. Now it's Reggie Smith. Ford winds and deals to Reggie, and hey, struck him out with a dead fish changeup. That will retire the side. But in the first, the Red Sox strike back with a three-run home run by Tony Canigliero. We go to the second. It's Boston three and New York one. So much for a pitcher's duel. Slaughter, Martin, and Carey coming up. Six, seven, eight, four. Casey Stengel in the second. Lonborg's delivery is swung on by Slaughter and hit to right. Tony Canigliero pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number one. Here's Billy Martin. Lonborg kicks and deals. Swung on by Martin and hit to Petroselli at short. Rico gloves it, throws to Scott, and there's two away in the Yankee second. Andy Carey comes to the plate now. Lonborg kicks and deals. Carey swings and hits it to center. This is Reggie Smith. He's got it for out number three. A 1-2-3 recovery inning for Jim Lonborg. We go to the bottom of two, and it's Boston three and New York one. Whitey Ford, Rico Petroselli, and Russ Gibson and Jim Lonborg are in his future. Whitey kicks and deals, and Petroselli drills this one to right center. It's going to split. Bauer and Mantle. Petroselli around first. He's going to cruise into second with a leadoff double. Russ Gibson comes to the plate. Well, a lot of things you can do here. 
But I think we're going to have Russ lay one down at this point, at this juncture. The stretch by Ford and the delivery to Gibson, is, he squares, he does square to bunt. And it is bunted back to Whitey Ford. Billy Martin is covering first base, and that's who Whitey throws to for the sacrifice to move Petroselli to third base with one out, and here's Jim Lonborg. The Yankees are going to play the infield. Ah, boy. I guess we'll go in at the corners. Lonborg comes to the Lonborg. Good athlete, of course. Could handle the bat a little bit. The stretch by Ford and the delivery to Lonnie. And that one is going to be a wild pitch past Yogi. Got in the dirt, and Yogi couldn't block it. Petroselli comes home. It's 4-1 Grud Sox on a wild pitch by Whitey Ford. So, Lonborg... Produces the run, sort of. Ford winds and deals. Lonborg swings and hits it to right. That's Hank Bauer right there. And there's two down in the Red Sox second. Joe Foy comes to the plate now. And the pitch to him. Hey, struck him out with the upstairs cheese. Whitey Ford getting cranky out there on the mound. Mad at himself, of course. Not a good start for Whitey. The Red Sox in the second get another run on one hit. We go to the third, and it's Boston 4 and New York 1. It'll be Ford, Bauer, and McDougal coming up for the Yankees in the third. Lonborg winds and deals to Whitey Ford, and he walks his counterpart. Ford trots down to first base with a base on balls. Hank Bauer comes up. He started the game with a bomb. See if he does it again. Lonborg the stretch and the delivery. That's ball two. Next delivery from... I don't know how Johnny Cux got involved. Next delivery to Bauer is a strikeout. Lonborg takes revenge with his second strikeout of the game. Bauer is gone, and here's Gil McDougal. Jim Lonborg, the stretch, and the pitch to McDougal. Hey, struck out McDougal on a bender. Two gone in the third. Whitey Ford still at first base, and here's Mickey Mantle. Mickey's 0 for 1. The pitch from Lonborg. Hey, struck out the side. Lonborg pumps his fist. Runs into the dugout, and the Red Sox fans go nuts at Fenway. We go to the bottom of three, and it's Boston four and New York one. Andrews, Yastrzemski, and Canigliero coming up against Whitey Ford in the third. Whitey kicks and deals. Andrews strikes out. He got him looking. Strikeout number three for Whitey. One down in the bottom of the third. Yaz is up there now. He singled in the first and scored on the Canigliero home run, and he strikes out Yastrzemski. Whitey Ford starting to get in a groove here. Canigliero comes up. He hit the bomb to put the Red Sox in front in the first, and I'm throwing dice all over the room. It's a fine motor skill problem, my friends. The pitch from Ford, and that one is swung on by Canigliero. And bounce to carry a third. He gloves it to his left. Plants and throws to Scourin. And the Red Sox are done in the third inning. We go to the fourth with your score. Boston 4 and New York 1. Jim Lonborg will face Barra, Scourin, and Slaughter in inning number four. Lonnie kicks and deals. Yogi swings and hits one to Foy at third. Joe gloves it and throws low over to Scott. The boomer blocks it but can't dig it out of the dirt. That's going to be an E5, allowing Barrett to reach it first. Maybe that'll start an inning for the Yankees. Here's Moose Scourin. Lonborg the stretch and the pitch to Moose. Hey, struck him out. Lonborg is dealing. Last four outs all on punch outs. Here comes Slaughter with Barrett still at first base. 
The stretch by Lonborg in the delivery. Swung on by Enos and hit to Andrews at second. He goes to Petroselli for one in the relay to Scott is late. Slaughter beats the rap at first. Barra is out 4-6. Slaughter safe on a fielder's choice. There's two away now for Billy Martin. Billy the Kid. Lonborg the stretch and the pitch. Martin swings and pops it up. Foul territory. Russ Gibson off with the mask. Makes the catch for out number three. We've played three and a half, and your score is Boston four and New York one. Scott, Smith, and Petroselli coming up in the Red Sox fourth. The windup in the delivery by Whitey Ford to the boomer, and there's a base hit for Scotty. It goes to center field. Mantle collects it and throws it back in. The Red Sox have a leadoff man on in the fourth. Here's Reggie Smith. Ford the stretch and the pitch to the Boston center fielder, and hey, struck him out. Second strikeout for Reggie Smith. Fifth strikeout for Whitey Ford. Here's Rico Petroselli now. Ford the stretch and the pitch to Rico. Chopped on the infield. When it comes down, Andy Carey's not going to have a play. Scott is safe at second. Petroselli safe at first on an infield hit. And that will bring up Russ Gibson, who successfully sacrificed in the second. The stretch by Ford. Lonborg is on deck. The pitch to Gibson. Swung on by Russ and popped up. Uh, this is Andy Carey. An infield fly rule is called. And there are two down. So that leaves it up to Lonborg. Joe Foy would be next. The stretch by Ford and the delivery to Lonnie is ball four. Whitey Ford walks him. The bases are dripping with Red Sox. For the leadoff man, third baseman Joe Foy. All righty. Whitey Ford in a jam. There is stirring in the Yankee bullpen, but nobody's throwing yet. Foy is 0 for 2. The pitch from Whitey. Swung on by Joe Foy and missed for strike three. Whitey Ford throws the gas to get out of the inning. The Red Sox leave him loaded in the fourth. We go to the fifth and your score, Boston four and New York one. Harry Ford and Bauer coming up in the New York fifth. The windup in the delivery to Andy Carey is swung on and hit to second. Mike Andrews down to one knee, gloves it, throws to Scott, and there's one down in the Yankee fifth. That'll bring up Ford. Bowers on deck. Lonborg winds and deals. Ford swings and grounds this one to Rico Petroselli at short. Rico charges, throws on the run, and they get Ford at first by 14 steps. Here's Hank Bauer with nobody on. The pitch from Milani is swung on by Bauer and a base hit just over the reach of Rico Petroselli into left field. Carl Yastrzemski collects it and throws it back in. That'll bring up McDougal. Gill is one for two. Lonborg. The stretch and the delivery to Gill McDougal is a base hit. Uh, no, it is gloved by... Off Joe Foy's glove. There are going to be two on with two outs now for Mickey Mantle. Joe Foy couldn't make the play cleanly. They're going to give McDougal a base hit on the plate. And here is Mantle with a chance to tie the game. Lonborg the stretch, the pitch to the Mick. Swung on and hit to right end. Deep, but not deep enough. Canigliero is going to make the catch. Four out, number three. Mantle leaves two on. We're halfway through this one. And it's Boston four and New York one. Ford will face Andrews Yastrzemski and Canigliero in the Boston fifth. Whitey Ford kicks and deals. Andrews swings and hits one to center. Dying quail. Here comes Mickey. 
He's got it for our number one. Carl Yastrzemski up there now. He's one for two. Ford kicks and delivers to Yaz. And Yaz hits one to right. Bauer on the run. He's over by the foul line, and he makes the catch for out number two. Tony Canigliero at the plate now. One for two for Tony C. Ford winds and deals. The pitch to Canigliero is hit on the ground to McDougal to short. Gill is up with it. Throws to Scourin, and that will retire the Red Sox in the fifth. We go to the sixth. It's the Red Sox four and the Yankees one. Barra, Scourin, and Slaughter, 4-5-6 coming up in the 6th against Jim Lonborg. Yogi's 0 for 2. The pitch from Lonborg is ball 4 to Yogi. He draws his first walk of the day. Lonborg has walked 2. He has allowed 4 hits. Coming up now is Moose Scourin. The stretch by Lonborg and the delivery to Scourin is swung on by Moose and knocked down by Foy, but Joe can't make a play. So Foy blocks it from going into left, but can't make a play. It rolls too far away. Barrow is safe at second. Scourin safe at first. Nobody out, and here's Eno Slaughter. Yankees again with an opportunity to score. Billy Martin on deck. The stretch by Lonborg and the pitch to Slaughter is hit in the air to center. Reggie Smith in his tracks makes the catch for out number one. Barra holds at second, and here's Billy Martin. Lonborg the stretch. Billy Martin's 0 for 2. This is hit to center. Reggie Smith into left center a few steps makes the catch for out number two. Andy Carey comes to the plate. Whitey Ford would be next. The stretch by Lonborg and the pitch to Carey is ball two. Next delivery to Carey is swung on and hit to right. Little looper. Here comes Canigliero. He makes the catch for out number three. So again, Lonborg gets into trouble and again wriggles off the hook. We go to the bottom of the six, and your score is Boston 4 and New York 1. Red Sox looking to get a good start to the series here against the 1956 World Series champions. George Scott, Reggie Smith, Rico Petroselli coming up against Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford delivers, and there's a swing by Scott, and it's hit to center and deep. Over the triangle, into the center field bleachers for George Scott. It's a 5-1 Red Sox lead. Ooh-wee. The Red Sox bringing out the lumber. Reggie Smith up there now. He's 0 for 2. Whitey Ford winds and deals to Smith. Reggie swings. He hits a little comebacker to Whitey who turns and flips to Scourin for out number one in the sixth. Rico Petroselli up there now. He's two for two. The pitch to Rico. Swung on, and it's a jam job pop-up. Andy Carey in fair territory is under it and takes it for out number two. Russ Gibson comes to the plate. Jim Lonborg would be next. The pitch by Whitey. Hey, struck out Gibson, and that's going to retire the side with Whitey Ford's seventh strikeout of the day. We go to the seventh inning. The Red Sox add a run on a home run by the Boomer. We go to the seventh inning, and your score is Boston 5 and New York 1. Whitey Ford's day is done. After six innings of work, he allowed six hits. Two of them were home runs. He walked one. He struck out seven. He allowed five runs, and four of them are earned. He's on the hook for the loss unless the Yankees can rally. Joe Collins is going to be the pinch hitter uh, and warming up in the bullpen for the Yankees is... Right-hander Tom Morgan. And it looks like he's going to take over in the bottom of the seventh. But for now, it's Joe Collins. Jim Lonborg winds and deals to Collins, who swings and hits one to... No, he misses everything. He struck him out, and that is strikeout number six. 
Uh, for Jim Lonborg, Hank Bauer comes to the plate. The wind and the delivery by Lonborg is swung in and hit into center. Reggie Smith in a few steps, but he makes the catch for out number two. Gil McDougal up there now. The pitch from Lonborg to McDougal is swung on by Gill and hit to short. And Petroselli fumbles the ball. That's going to be an E6. Reaching on the second Red Sox error of the day is Gil McDougal, and that'll bring up Mantle. Mickey is 0 for 3. He's got a pair of strikeouts. He's going for the hat trick in this at bat. The pitch is swung on by Mantle, and that is going to be a base hit for Mickey. Off the glove of Mike Andrews. Two are on for the Bombers with two outs. And Yogi Bear at the plate at 0 for 2. Lonborg the stretch, the pitch to Yogi as I continue to throw dice all over the room. And here we go. This one is swung on by Barra. And Yogi lays down a bunt. Charging his foy. He's made a embarrassment of himself all day today, so he just puts it in his pocket, and the Yankees have loaded the bases with two outs here for Scourin. If he goes deep, we're tied. The stretch by Lonborg. It's McDougal to third, Mantle at second, Yogi at first, two men out in the seventh. The pitch from Lonnie is swung on by Scourin and hit to center. Reggie Smith back near the track, makes the catch for out number three. One more biscuit for breakfast, and Bill Scourin has himself a granny, but no. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and your score is Boston 5 and New York 1. The new Yankee pitcher is Tom Morgan. In 1956, he's a D-grade pitcher with no strikeout or walk modifiers. He's a right-hander. And Tommy Byrne, a left-hander, is throwing in the Yankee bullpen. All right, it'll be Lonborg in the Boston 7th. It'll be Lon Lonborg, Foy, and Andrews, 9-1-2 for manager Dick Williams. And Morgan deals to his counterpart, and there's a base hit for Jim Lonborg to left center. Mantle hustles over to retrieve it. And the Red Sox have a leadoff man aboard. Here's Joe Foy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have him bunt too. Because another run looks pretty big in this ball game. Uh, so, Foy at the plate, Morgan the stretch, the delivery. Foy squares to bunt, and he gets it down. It's back to Morgan. Morgan throws to first, where Billy Martin is covering, and the sacrifice moves Lonborg to second base. He's in scoring position now for Mike Andrews, who's 0 for 3. Carl Yastrzemski's on deck. The stretch by Morgan and the delivery to Andrews. Swung on by Mike, and it's a line drive right at Billy Martin. He makes the catch for out number two. Scrambling back to second is Lonborg. And Yastrzemski comes to the plate now. And that's going to bring Casey out of the dugout. It's going to be Tommy Byrne for the lefty-lefty matchup. We had a double switch of sorts. Uh, the new first baseman is Joe Collins. He stayed in the game. Morgan batting fifth, and Tommy Byrne now is batting fifth in the Yankee order. So Byrne, a left-hander. In 1956, he was a C-grade pitcher with a W modifier. He's on to face Yaz. Tony C would be next. The pitch. Swung on by Yastrzemski. Hit to center. Mantle right there, and he makes the catch for out number three. The Red Sox come up empty in the seventh. We go to the eighth with your score, Boston five and New York four. New York four, right. New York one, five one Red Sox. Lonborg is out for inning number eight. He's got Slaughter, Martin, and Carey coming up. 
they are a combined 0 for 9 in this game. The pitch from Lonborg is swung on by Enos and hit to right. Can of corn for Tony C, and he's got it for out number Billy one. Martin now 0 for 3. The pitch from Lonborg. Swung on by Billy and hit to center. Dying quail. Here comes Reggie Smith. He's got it for out number two. Yankees can't quite... That's what I was talking about in the pregame. The lineup isn't really balanced. So if Mantle and Bauer and Bear and Scourin don't get it done, this bottom half of the order is brutal. Andy Carey up there now, 0 for 3. Joe Collins on deck. The pitch from Lonborg is swung on and missed by Carey. The next delivery by Lonborg is swung on and hit to right. Canigliero right there. He's got it for out number three. We go to the bottom of the eighth, and your score is Boston 5 and New York 1. Tommy Byrne coming out. There is action in the Yankee bullpen. Mickey McDermott, a left-hander, and Bullet Bob Turley, a right-hander, each throwing in the... Yankee bullpen for Casey. But it's going to be Byrne to face Canigliero, Scott, and Smith. 4-5-6 in the eighth. The pitch is popped up by Tony C. On the infield dirt, Andy Carey is calling and taking for out number one. George Scott is two for three. The pitch the Boomer swings and drills a base hit to right field. Drops in front of Bauer. The Red Sox have a one-out base runner here in the eighth, and here's Reggie Smith. Burn the stretch and the pitch to Reggie. He walked him, and that puts two on with one out. And let's see if Casey makes a move here. Ah, uh, well, no, he's going to stick with Byrne. The stretch, the pitch to Rico Petroselli, and that's ball four to Rico, and that is going to load the bases. Nowhere to put Russ Gibson. Scott at third, Smith at second, Petroselli at first, Gibson at the plate, and that's going to do it for Tommy Byrne. We're going to get a healthy dose of Bullet Bob Turley. He will also be batting fifth in the order for Casey. And he is the fourth Yankee pitcher of the day. In 1956, he's a D-grade pitcher with YW modifiers. And he's a right-hander, so he'll get a one-letter grade boost against Gibson. Jim Lonborg is on deck. The infield is in for the Bombers. We're in the bottom of the eighth. They're down by four. The stretch and the pitch to Russ Gibson is swung on by Gibson, and it is... A base hit past McDougald. Into left field. Scoring is Scott. Scoring is Smith. Around second, coming to third, is Petroselli. And here comes the throw from Enos Country Slaughter. And he guns him down at third base. Andy Carey applying the tag. So it's a two-run single for Russ Gibson. But Petroselli is thrown out at third, 7-5. to five. If you're scoring, and if you are, oh my goodness. And that makes our score, Boston 7 and New York 1 in the bottom of the eighth. Jim Lonborg comes to the plate now uh, with two outs and Gibson at first. Joe Foy would be next. Lonborg at the plate. Turley the stretch and the delivery. And a struck him out. Bullet Bob lives up to the name. Striking out his counterpart. And that'll end the Red Sox eighth. But they get two. 
on two hits. Say it with me, all oh, those bases on balls certainly contributing to the inning. We go to the ninth, and your score is Boston 7 and New York 1. It'll be Collins, Bauer, and McDougald coming up for Casey in the New York ninth. Lonborg out to try and finish the deal. The pitch from Lonborg to Collins is swung on by Collins, and it's drilled over first base. It's going to rattle around. In the right field corner, Tony C has got to dig it out of there. Collins around first, heading to second. He's got a leadoff double, and the Yankees are showing signs of life. Here's Hank Bauer. Gil McDougald on deck. Lonborg the stretch and the delivery to Bauer. Fly ball to left. Can of corn for Yaz. He's got it in left center for out number one. Collins holds it second, and here's Gil McDougal, who's having a two-for-four day. Mantle on deck. The stretch by Lonborg, and the pitch to McDougald is ball four. Two are on now for Mickey. That's going to get some action going in the Boston bullpen. Uh, John Wyatt. Starts to throw for the Red Sox. But now it's Mantle with runners at first and second and one out. The stretch by Lonborg and the pitch to Mantle. Is swung on and hit to Foy at third. He knocks it down, picks it up, puts it in a bucket of water, takes it out of the bucket of water, Throws to George Scott, and they get Mantle by half a step at first. The runners do move up. Collins to third, McDougal to second. And that'll bring up Yogi as the last chance saloon. Moving into the on-deck circle in the event Yogi does reach is Elston Howard to pinch hit for Bullet Bob Turley. Two out, second, third. We're in the ninth. Lonborg, the stretch, and the pitch to Yogi is going to be swung on by Yogi and missed for strike three, and that is your ball game. Strikeout number seven for Lonborg ends the ball game for the Bombers. Let's give you the totals on this one. For the victorious and homestanding Boston Red Sox, seven runs, nine base hits, and they committed, I believe, two errors. Yes, they did. The Yankees, one run, a leadoff bomb from Bauer, and they got nothing after that. On two, four, six, eight base hits. And they committed one, one error. The winning pitcher is Jim Lonborg. The loss goes to Whitey Ford. No save in the ball game. Star of the game. Boy, I don't know. I guess you got to give it to Lonborg. He shut down a tough Yankee lineup, although, again, not a very balanced Yankee lineup. With the victory, the Red Sox improve their record to 3-2. and two. The Yankees drop to 4-1. and one. Thanks for joining me. Love, love, love my APA Vintage Season Baseball. I hope you have a great night. Your final from Fenway Park in Boston. The Red Sox, the 1967 Red Sox 7, the 1956 Yankees 1. So long, everybody.